as an instrument of deceit. When people are lured to worship the Antichrist by joining the church of the Antichrist, one thing that lures them closer to the devil is the beauty with which he appears. Not the message. The message says, according to Revelation 13, he opened his mouth and great blasphemies came out of his mouth. If you are to listen to the message, there is no glorifying God. There is no obedience to God. There is no acknowledgement of the suffering of Christ. There is great blasphemy coming out of every minister who preaches a message within the church of the Antichrist. So if you are to distinguish a true message of God and a false message, you are not going to look at how the message is presented. You are going to have to look at the content of the message. What is the preacher saying? What is the prophet saying? What is the bishop saying? What is the evangelist saying? What is the pastor saying? What is the apostle saying about Jesus? If you are going to be somebody who is always deceived by outward appearance, like Samuel was deceived by the appearance of Eliab, Aminada, and Shama, the three elder sons of Jesse, you are going to likely end up in the hands of the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. They present a mega church. They are running a television program. The pastor is dressed in a tuxedo. He's wearing a three-piece suit, double-breasted. Very expensive. The shirt is worth 5,000 US dollars. The shirt alone. Why is the pastor using so much money to buy clothes by which he presents himself in the pulpit as if he's going to attend a modeling competition whereas he's just presenting the message of the cross. Why are our pastors not copying what the medical doctors do? All they do is to put a white dust coat and they do their work. They operate on a person after three hours. The person says, I'm thanking God the, the, the operation was successful. I'm now healed. The doctor is very educated. He's a profession, by the way, and not a skilled laborer. <laughs> you know, one thing about not going to school, you end up judging everyone according to the level of your own education. And by so doing, you'd expose your foolishness. If a doctor is not a profession, then who is a profession in this country? A soldier. He's a professional. <laughs> Form 2 education is very difficult to work with. But let's not talk about that, of course. We are talking about why the pastor feels the need to wear a very expensive suit if all he's coming to do is to preach the word of God. Why are they obsessed with looking flamboyant in front of a church congregation? Why are they obsessed? Why are our men of God going to the extent of having to go through plastic surgery, makeup programs? A male preacher, Kugaram Saluna, Chitwa makeup, Yogumeso, Rugenda Kuno Modelari, Quete, Yono Parija. What's your problem? They know that they don't have a product. They are representing the great war, Babylon the Great, the mother of all halots and abominations of the earth. It is a well-presented harlot. Every war is well-known for chasing after fashion. Jokirese arizorore kutera mcheno. And this kutika namna, ito tera mcheno yijoki. Kuna wangu wano farra mcheno, wano afoda, wawasima joki. But ukango pinda profession e chijoki, unoto na with business, akuri fambe, unofanya na kuuraya mcheno, kuuraya zhiya. Nebuti, wagara una chimwe cha winachi. Kunze uke pendi zozi. Mukata muna shirini. Una, una, utana, una, fungwa, una. Nungu rine pendi, yaka fesa, yaka penda fesa, chete. Saka unto meka short, mini yo idwe cha de zavano. Kwete, una chimwe cha kude zavano nashu. Mkazi cha ya anu tauru wanae. Murumi moto zote, ah, msikano, aka change, tinonzugisa na pa kutaura. Ningade kutana nanae. 
Joka apanaizo. Ukadoto tawra neon pesro tingati sani nazo. Ngondo zoti mari. Tinga pesi tarova na pana. Neku tawra kuacho chaya ku agol. Ukawana muno amangari ari obsessed. Neku feka shono shono peya. Ani dambu ziko muno amangari. Ane mu yawe jo kim katimak. Ara zote ndika mira pa pulpit. Andi na chungu chandi na chandi kwa buri tama mukano wa mangu wanu wakapone zikuwa. Doto firiki zawa nu ne suti no pe njia yoyi. Wanu watu wakani tarisa watu ane marisa kimo limo. Katim tende pamoja tisha pesa watu ita marisa iye. Hallelujah. Amen. So having read this, we are going to finally end uh, this part by reading Revelation 19 from verse 1.